So tonight's gas for tonight's flight was courtesy of Matt Rate at Vista Balloon Flights. Go check him out, uh, vistabloonflights.co.uk, um, as you can see on the back of his door there. Um, they specialise in um, intimate uh, small pleasure flights, um, no more than about five people. So go check them out if that's what you want. Hi guys, um, I wanted to touch on something um, a little different today. Um, it's been a very, very hot day. In fact, if I just quickly show you, you can see for yourselves, this is in the shade and my car is showing 30 degrees. Now, what I want to demonstrate to you today is um, how hot is too hot um, for hot air balloons to fly. Um, and I will go through all the uh, procedures and stuff um, that will hopefully um, give an insight into uh, when it is too hot for, suit for balloons. So let's see where we get to tonight. Um, we're flying from Obelisk um, in uh, Northampton and um, I'm not going to be P1 on this flight uh, for the very simple reason um, my dog is recovering from a recent operation and um, I had a very sleepless night last night and I'm not feeling 100% so I've got Jamie Edwards um, who is um, probably more experienced than I am um, flying my balloon tonight so without further ado let's uh, let's get on with it so just before Jamie starts on his plate I'll quickly take you through what we've got inside so what we've got inside here is this this is what we call the tempi flag this is designed to fall out of the balloon at a certain temperature to let you know that you've overcooked the fabric at the top. And what we also have somewhere up here is we've got a tempi label which tells us how hot the balloon has become um, at certain other flights. It may not uh, register on this one, but we'll see. We're flying in like 28 degrees, I think. It's cooled down a little bit, so I'm more happier. Um, in fact, I think there is the Tempe flag, just up the Tempe label, sorry, up there, which measures the temperature. So, let's see where we end up tonight. And um, just want a side note, the flag will fall out at around uh, 120 degrees. That is the melting point of nylon, which is what this balloon is made of. Polyester can, can stand considerably more, but nylon will melt at around 120 degrees. So once you've reached that point, the tempi flag will fall out, it will fall down to the basket, just there, and then you have to land immediately as fast as possible, because you may have damaged the fabric. So let's see where we end up tonight. So we're flying in around 29 degrees, let's see how far we get. So guys, we're in the air, uh, we've just taken off from this uh, field here. Um, we're heading towards uh, Orthorpe, which is not an uh, unknown direction um, in my videos. Um, in fact, I was with Jamie um, when we flew uh, the coffee jar, which, which is on um, my YouTube channel if you want to watch it. We actually flew over the top of Orthorpe House uh, with that. Um, so just, uh, just to recap, we are flying in around 29 degrees um, and it will be interesting to see how much gas Shad uses because she's usually very economical. But the hotter the ambient temperature, the more gas and the more strain that you put on the fabric. So um, as I say, that Tempe label is still in place. It hasn't fallen out, so we know we're good. Um, but just to recap again, if that does fall out, we do have to um, land as quickly and as safely as possible. Very nice pleasant evening over the top of North Africa. And we're heading towards Althorpe House, so catch you in a bit guys. Well guys, we've landed after um, just over 45 minutes I think uh, flying. We've landed on this nice um, patch of green here. Um, we're looking to get permission to uh, bring the car around. Jamie's just uh, over, uh, over the side of that barn. Um, hopefully sorting it out with the landowner. Um, I don't particularly, or rather we don't particularly want to fly on um, because daylight is fading. Um, as you can see, the sun has disappeared behind the clouds which will exacerbate the time of uh, darkness. It will make it get darker quicker, if that makes sense. Um, all in all, we have managed to um, drain... Um, which tank is it? We've managed to drain this tank here. 
and we drained that tank in just under 34 minutes um, which is in my opinion very very good because that's the tank that Jamie inf got inflated with and a average hot inflation takes around 15 litres of, uh, of gas so we're all stood up still uh, waiting for Jamie um, and yeah uh, very pleasurable flight I actually got to learn um, that my balloon is perfectly capable of flying in around 30 degrees um, give or take maybe a couple of degrees 28 possibly um, but yeah um, very capable obviously um, with the uh, gas here um, using more gas uh, with the more heat but also you're using less gas the more you fly because obviously the uh, as you use up the gas it gets lighter um, so there's all these uh, calculations and uh, things um, and we did a load calculation just before the flight just to make absolutely sure that we were capable of doing this or our shad was capable of doing this um, yeah so we were all safe above board and as you can see the Tempe label which is um, where is it it's in there anyway um, in fact uh, if I can just point it out it's just there I think no sorry no it's in there that's all that matters um, we haven't cooked the fabric at the top um, even though hyperlast can take um, a little bit more of heat um, but rule of thumb is if that tempe label does fall out then you have to land uh, quickly and safely as possible uh, just in case you may have damaged the fabric and also as a side note um, if you do if your tempe, label, uh, tempe flag does fall out um, your balloon is then um, grounded pending inspection to make sure you've not damaged any of the panels at the top so um, that's uh, that's a flight in 30 degrees um, which is just uh, probably about the limit of what shad is capable of flying in um, and yeah um, looks like my retrieve vehicle is just pulling onto this grass here yeah we're all good sweet so we're all good that's all good guys so we're gonna pat we're gonna pull her down now and we're gonna get on our merry way as mentioned earlier guys here is my tempe well here's shad's tempe label as you can see she is registering on 93 degrees so she didn't get any hotter tonight so that's excellent i know what she's capable of now so we're down we're safe security guards all happy and the landowners are happy as well so all in all great great flight well guys that's us all packed up um beautiful sunset lovely um just wanted to say thank you very very much for uh, joining me throughout my whole youtube uh, journey um i'm nearly up to 500 subscribers now which is amazing um never thought it would ever get that far um but thank you all and uh, i hope uh hope it's for another 500 maybe um i hope you enjoy all the uh, videos i do um and you find them educational which is what they're here for really um i'm not looking to make any money i'm not looking for monetary gain i just want to try and inspire people to learn more and understand how these things work um and tonight i hope uh, it's demonstrated just how actually uh, safe they are as I said, dem uh, demonstrated to you before, the Tempe flag, the Tempe label are all there to make sure that we fly these balloons very, very safely. There's no overheat in the fabric and there's no chance of any damage um, whilst we're flying. Um, tonight, 30 degrees was a bit of a tough one um, on my balloon, um, but I know she's capable of it. Um, a 77 will probably struggle, which is uh, the balloons I've had before. Um, as I say, this is a 90. Um, a 77... We'll probably struggle to have got to around 2,000 feet tonight. Um, but we got to 2,000 feet, and as I've demonstrated on the Tempe label, it's not registering any higher than 93, which is what happened at Qatar. A um, bit disappointed about that, but never mind. Um, so, yeah, I hope you found it really, really educational, and we're going to get packed up and gone. So, thanks for sticking around, guys.